Land ho! Who's ready to go exploring a Greek island? I've had the Thunderhawk shipped ahead. Exploring? No way. I'm too tired. Tired? Your first trip to the Aegean Sea and you say you're tired? Getting here is what made me tired. This sailing stuff is hard work. You're the one who wanted to learn all about crewing on a sailing ship. Crewing? You mean slaving. Looks like mutiny, Matt. I'll stay with them if you want to go ahead. Okay. Crew is hereby granted one day to be lazy. See you later. Be careful. Every muscle in my body hurts. Mine too. You're a machine. You can't be tired. Can I be overloaded? Low on power, worn out, and in desperate need of an overhaul? Yes. Then that's what I am. I'd never want to go sailing again. Hoist the mizzen mast, gaff the jibs, mow the yard arms. Next, they'll probably want us to put out the fire. What fire? The one up there. Bruce, fire! We're on fire! Robots and children first! <gasps> Scott! Team off! Here I come! <sighs> what happened, Bruce? Oh, I don't know, Matt. I never saw anything catch fire so fast in my life. Well, first we'll find a hotel for these two. Then you and I are gonna do some investigating. Oh, I'm taking an airplane home. I don't get it, Matt. Why look up here if the ship caught fire down at the ocean? Scott said the fire started at the top of the sails and came down. So whatever started it must have come from outside the ship. From higher up, maybe we can see. Huh? Everything within this circle is burned to a crisp. It sure is. The heat must have been incredible. What could cause something like this? I have no idea, but I'll lay odds that it was the same thing that hit the mast of our ship. Come on. I'm punching in the location of this spot in our ship. Thunderhawk's navigational computer should be able to triangulate and give me... Ah, there we go. The blast of heat came from that direction. Let's see what's out there. Well, I don't see anything that looks like it could create a giant heat ray, do you? No. I do see a giant, though. Huh? Oh, I read about this place. It's the New Solaria Amusement Park. It's supposed to open next week. That statue of the Greek god Zeus is the park's symbol. What an impressive-looking amusement park. The whole island is owned by some eccentric millionaire. <laughs> It's mayhem in Switchblade. Is he the eccentric millionaire? I don't know, but he's sure mad about something. He's always mad about something. Mask, I've got to keep them away from here. They could ruin everything. He knocked out the lasers. Hang on to your stomach. I'm going up and over. Solaria Park. He's still right on our tail. Okay. Let's see if he'll follow this move. This is almost too easy. Mask, 
Wasp satellite link. Matt Tracker calling Boulder Hill computer. Ready. Encoded transmission. Select mask agents best suited for mission in Mediterranean. Recommended personnel. Bruce Sato, mechanical engineer and design specialist. Brad Turner, expert motorcycle and helicopter pilot. Vehicle code name, Condor. Hondo McLean, weapons specialist and field strategist. Vehicle code name, Firecracker. Dusty Hayes, auto and marine stunt driver. Vehicle code name, Gator. <laughs> Gloria Baker, champion race driver. Black belt in Kung Fu. Vehicle code name, Gator. Function, co-pilot. Selection complete. Personnel approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. What do we know about Solaria Park, Matt? Nothing. We learned that the construction was all done in secret. So it's up to us to find out what's really going on out there. You got it. Let's move. things again. They sink. I've had enough jumping overboard. Thank you. I hate getting wet. I hate getting wet. So, uh, this is Greece. It's beautiful. Yes, it is, but we've got no time for sightseeing. Solaria Park is still a few miles across the sea. Let's move it. I hate to complain, but uh, Firecracker doesn't exactly float you. Sit tight, Honda. We haven't forgotten about you. The bird of prey has not only wings for flying, but feet for lifting. Lift up. On. <laughs> Keep an eye open, everyone. If Venom is on that island, they're sure to see us coming. Roger. Better keep one peel behind you, cowboy. There's something following you. I know, and it's not a fish. Let's see if you can outdrive a heat-seeking torpedo. Watch it, Matt. We got company, too. Whoa! I feel like a baby swinging in a cradle. Hang on. I'll get it. It's too deep. The lasers won't penetrate. Well, I'm running out of fancy turns. In another second, that thing's gonna be in our back seat. Gloria, can't you give it a nudge with the aura mask? Not while it's underwater, but, but maybe we can bring it up with a whirlpool depth charge.
loose. Next time he comes back, lift me up and turn me around. Will do, Hondo. But what for? The Hypno Headlights. Fast thinking, Hondo. We'll be in dreamland until we can get you to the island. This is gonna be close. Start checking out the island, Hondo. We're going after mayhem. Go get him, Matt! He's going behind the island. Stay in his tail, Brad. I'll go over the island and cut him off. Roger. Keep going, Miles. You got a surprise coming. Sly Rax pulled the same shenanigan on us. Gone like a ghost. So what's our next move, Matt? Start searching the whole island? Dig not with the hands when the shovel lies waiting. Oh, Bruce, holy cow. He just means that whatever Venom is up to, Solaria Park must be involved. It's the obvious place to start looking. Look at all the rides. This place will be great when it opens. Spread out, everyone. Look for, well, look for anything suspicious. I knew they'd go to the park. So, it's almost high noon. They can't stop us now. <laughs> suspicious in here, just funny mirrors. Just a second, Dusty. Look at this. Must be some kind of piston. But why here? Matt, this is a Hondo. I'm in the video arcade, only there's something weird about it. There aren't any video games. Just a big, dark building full of mirrors. Lots of mirrors. We're finding the same sort of thing, Hondo. The rides, the buildings, everything is just false fronts and mock-ups. Nothing in Solaria Park is real, except these silly mirrors. Hey, Mayhem, are you going to let them have it? In due time, I'll unleash enough power to control the entire Mediterranean area. What happened to the bad guys? They lose their nerve? The farther the water goes out, the bigger the wave that returns. Right. Keep on your toes, everyone. They're up to something. Greetings, masked fools. Welcome to Solaria Park. Sounds like that big wave Bruce was talking about. Look! Get moving. We've got to get out of here before we're all trapped in this machinery. Solar energy collectors will store energy so the statue will be invincible, even at night. Let's move it. If I'm right, no weapon on Earth will be able to get near that thing once it's fully charged up. 
What first, Matt? We've got to get the Thunderhawks' thermite bombs down to the base of the statue. But, Matt, that old bomb won't get through a heat ray. It'll blow before it ever reaches the statue. Not if we all do our part. Ah, our hero's coming. I'll give him a taste of just minimum power. Whoa, it's stronger than I thought. We got our work cut out for us. A difficult target, but I'll get him. Matt, I'm pushing the condor to the limit. Any harder, and my engine will blow. Okay, Brad, we're ready here. Too easily. What? Those fools think they can stop me. It's our turn, Dusty. Let's get out of here. We'll just have to keep our fingers crossed. I've got to melt that ice, but I still don't have full power. Let's get out of here. No, no! At seven years premiere, I figure Venom just landed about 60 million years of bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're a little young to be working on cars, aren't you? I hope you're doing it safely. Oh, sure I am. I have the handbrake set really tight and all the wheels blocked. Well, that's good. Uh, just whose car is this anyway? It's yours. We knew how much you missed the old Thunderhawk, so we all worked double time to get this new one ready. Ah, uh, thanks.